Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like and subscribe, you will be notified of future videos. As many of you know, I have got an interest in Meghan Markle. I don't know why, she just fascinates me. And I'm not saying whether you know it's good or bad or whatever it is, I just go and read the cards. That's what I do. I'm totally neutral on her. A lot of people of you listening will have preconceived um, theories or opinions on her. And I would ask you right now, what if we just suspend all judgments and then I'll just start asking these questions and um, we'll just allow the cards to tell the story. How about that? Suspending our judgment and we're gonna see what the cards have to say. You're gonna love these questions. Stay to the very end because it's gonna be exciting. All right, first question. Is Meghan Markle mean? Is Meghan Markle mean? So I'm just going to um, briefly shuffle the cards. I scroll through them like this and I just pull them. Whoa, that would be the devil. Um, so that's card number one. Somebody's feeling trapped. Somebody is feeling trapped in a situation. Um, so remember, we're asking if she's mean, okay? And so I'm gonna pull, probably pull about three cards on this. So here we go with card number three. Card number three. All right, so then we're gonna take a look at these to see is Meghan Markle genuinely a mean person? Now, she might act out because she's feeling trapped, right? She's got these chains and she, you know, she wants out of a situation. She, this is the devil. And sometimes when people get trapped or feel trapped, you know, they can act out in some pretty vicious ways. Um, this is the sun card. So this just means that she's quite, she's looking for happiness, right? She's seeking out happiness, but it's a really big challenge for her right now. So I'm not going to lie. She could have some behaviors on here that, you know, of lashing out at people or who knows what this behavior could be because with the devil, it's a pretty big stuck card. She's pretty, she's pretty stuck. And um, in her situation or she feels chained like she doesn't have um, so even though she has maybe um, exited away from the royal family you would think she would have her freedom does she feel any sense of freedom since she's moved out of the royal family you know kind of that dynamic whoa not really this is um, negative things like she feels like people are out to get her um, she feels that that there is no freedom like she's just been slayed by and i'm thinking why does she feel this way why does she feel this way because the seven of or the five of swords is not good so um she, you know she she's kind of evaluating like she's kind of evaluating now this card faces this card so this also means that she could be verbally sparring at people also. This could be that people are sparring at her and she's verbally sparring back. Why she does it is because the seven of pentacles is like people observing her. She's being observed and more in the spotlight than what she ever intended to be in this way, in this negative way. She's in the negative spotlight not in the positive spotlight where she thought she would be like as an actress and she thought she'd maybe there. <laughs> That's what she thought she would be. She thought she would be, you know, the queen of swords, admired by people, respected by people. And uh, so that didn't happen. So now she's kind of fired up, right? She's in this fired up, she's in this fired up mode where, you know, this can be the person with the temper and hot and they just don't know what to do. They don't know how to act out. So that's question number one. Is she mean? Well, she could be mean while she's feeling stuck and trapped, right? That could bring out the mean in anybody. Um, what does she want? This is, um, what, what does Megan really want? What does she really want? What is it that she wants? Oh, she's praying. She's on her knees praying to a higher power, um, why? Why is she praying to God? Probably she's praying to God. I'm assuming um, high priestess doesn't want it doesn't want it disclosed, hidden. She wants she kind of wants a part of her life hidden, like she wants to be. Oh, this is hidden, not in the spotlight so much. That's interesting. That's interesting because for an actress, you would have think she'd want to be in the spotlight. Um, so what? So she wants to be hidden. That's very interesting. Whoa, two cards here. So, and then we get another seven of um, 
Pentacle card. Now we've had two um, pulled for her. She's really weighing out her options. When you pull two seven of Pentacles, she doesn't know what to do. She's just pondering, what the heck do I do? And this is like being pulled in different directions, but this is also about willpower. She wants to be successful. Um, you know, she, she just wants her life to be under her control, right? Under her control. That's what that's about. Um, question number, next question. Does Megan love Harry? Isn't this a loaded question? I thought of some, I think I thought of some really good uh, questions to ask. And I'm going to keep using different decks. It just keeps it interesting. I grab whatever um, my attention goes to. Um, does Megan truly love Harry, all right? Does she truly love Harry, all right? Or is this just, you know, something else, all right? So there's the picture, Megan and Harry. All right, does she truly love Harry? I just kind of do like a little random shuffle here. I go through until my thumb sticks and then I'm done. So now this is the foreign land. This is, you know, to me, the three of wands and two of wands are the foreigners. So this would be Harry in another country. The, oh, wow. This would be yes. Um, but this is yes with the ace of wands. When I have a deal with my cards that all aces are yes. If the question I'm asking can be answered with a yes and an ace comes up, it's a yes. So she loves this person from the, from the foreign country, which would be Harry. She loves Harry. Um, and then we'll see what else is going on with that. Um, the four of pentacles, she's, she's, oh, this is like, she's got to protect her heart. Like she's afraid that her heart is going to be broken. So she's protecting it. And it also shows that she's got a little bit of interest in money, like finances. Like maybe she thought that Harry would be, you know, a way for her to have finances to possibly do what she wanted. Um, we'll ask, was she, was she really interested in Harry's finances when he was with the royal family? Was she interested in that? And there's the five of swords. <laughs> that ended up being uh, trouble. Uh, this isn't really interested in finances, not like this is. Um, oh, this could be that she wants to make her own money. Like she wants to make her own money doing it her own way because this doesn't tie into that. She doesn't, she didn't really want the royal finances, but she ended up with uh, kind of a difficult situation there. We'll just call it that. So I'm just pulling another card to see what else we have to know about this um, relationship. So the seven of wands is usually that there's a lot of troubles here, a lot of um, things to go through, obstacles to go through, but it does look like um, right now that it could, that, yeah, that's a lot of challenges. Is this, mar is this marriage going to survive all the stress that it's under? Is your marriage going to survive all the stress? Uh, nine of cups. Whoa. Nine can be happiness, but it's, it can also be endings, but it's, she wants to be happy, but right now she's a little bit like self-absorbed, I want to say. Like she just wants it, like it's all about her right now. Like it's all about me. What about me? It's almost like a victim type mentality feeling of that card, even though the definition doesn't stand for it. But yeah, she's really kind of focused on um, finances right now because that's the nine of pentacles. She really wants to make her own money, make her own life, not rely on somebody else. So um, then you're not going to believe this, but I decided to ask, does she truly love Archie? Yep, that's a risky question. But you know what? When you're asking questions, you might as well ask them all, right? Just ask them. Um, so, and this is my interpretation of the tarot. You might have a different interpretation and that's completely fine. I honor all theories and opinions on this. It's not just me. It's not just me being correct. I mean, I'm not familiar um, with Megan completely. I'm just, you know, interested. So does she truly love Archie? Does Megan truly love Archie? This is going to be an interesting um, answer here. Um, so this is the six of pentacles, which is a very giving, wants to help. Want, it, this is the card about wanting to help, wanting to give everything, wanting the best for somebody. Um, and this is the magician card. So she um, has all the um, all that she needs. Wow. So her view of being a mother is very interesting. 
Um, this is very interesting because to have these as like a motherly love card, this is like, yes, she's very giving, but it feels like with these two that maybe somebody else helps raise this child. I don't know if that's true or not, but it feels like she's got lots of help here. She's got lots of tools on the table and that she's going to, she could be a strict mother or, you know, a strict mother. She could, you know, rule by the books. Um, being a mother by the books. How does Archie feel about, <laughs> he's just a baby, but he's cuter than cute. How does Archie feel about his mother? How does Archie feel about Megan? <laughs> this will be interesting because he's just a baby. Okay, so he feels like she's gone a lot. Like he, like the mother figure is gone. So he's, he's like, that's the three of cups. He's kind of sad that the mother is gone. Um, he sure is a cute baby though. Oh my gosh. And so there she is. She's, when she spends time with him, I think he feels like she's in a hurry. Like she's in a hurry to always be somewhere else, like looking at her schedule and that. Will there be a time when Megan can slow down and take more time with Archie? We, Oh, that is literally the slowing down card. Uh, so it does look like that things will slow down. Yes, there she is. Whoa, is she getting pregnant again? It's the pregnant card. That's the pregnant card, um, but that's also the nurturing card. So it does look like um, she will make time um, to be an, a nurturing person, but it feels like with the magician that it's um, it takes like work or effort. Like she's not a natural type of mother. Like she has to kind of learn into that role. I don't know. I mean, that's just a sense I get from those cards. Um, did you guys know that um, she uh, worked at the embassy U.S. Embassy in Buenos Aires, um, and that she also has a, um, that she thought she would have a career in politics. So one of the questions that I was going to ask is, is Megan going to eventually get into politics? I don't know how I'm going to answer this with the tarot cards, but you know what? I'm going to do my best. Will she get into politics at some, con at some point? She doesn't know. This is the confusion card, the seven of cups. She doesn't know right away if she will. Four swords, maybe not. Maybe that's not her thing. So right now, I'm going to say no to that. Um, is she selfish? Is Meghan Markle selfish? Is she being selfish? You know, people change. So right now, she just wants to be alone. This is not really the selfish card. It's somebody that wants to be left alone, like a hermit going into the cave. So that's not really selfish. The hermit is not selfish, but he wants to be left alone. Um, okay, then I decided to ask, why does she dislike her father? So there's a lot of theories about this, but allegedly um, the father started to coordinate with the media when she started to become famous and started to disclose personal information about her. And, and it was uncovered that he was uh, doing photoshops and working with the media in releasing information that Megan really might not have wanted out there because they were very close. She lived with him from age 11 and, and she adored him in her younger years. So I'm going to ask the cards, what, uh, why does she dislike him now? Why is she estranged from her father? Why does she dislike him? This will be, um, interesting. So she's working on trying to heal the relationship, but you can see the path. Here's the Royal. When she got, oh, I'm sorry, you probably can't see these cards really well, but um, see the royal crown back there when she went to the royal crown when she when she went to the royalty that's when uh, things got a little weird uh, with the father figure and okay there's the king yeah so there's the father figure looking and so what was Thomas Markle after why was he going to the media about her what what was Thomas doing um, oh he wasn't doing good things look at this seven of swords he was sneaking, he was, he was sneaking around, leaking information. This is not a high integrity card. So um, in defense of Megan, I'm going to say that the Seven of Swords, that father was doing some sneaky stuff. So people want to blame Megan, this, the cards here. Not really. This dude was up to some sneaky shit. Stuff, sorry. Sneaky stuff. Okay. So that would explain that. And then we have Megan's half-sister, 
Samantha, who um, has really kind of been attacking her since the beginning. So Samantha Markle is a half sister. What's going, why, what, oh, how do I, what do we have to know about Samantha Markle? Why is she so against Megan? Let's just ask that. Oh, there she is, Queen of Cups. And we'll pull another card here. Oh, this goes back from childhood. This goes back from the, look at them facing back to back. They had, they didn't get along since young, since young. Um, oh, okay. So this would be since childhood, but, it, but since she got worldly known or whatever. Um, so what did Samantha think when she got worldly famous? I guess we could call it that. Yeah, so she thinks she had everything handed to her. So there's kind of like a, a jealousy thing there going on. And wow, I think that relationship's going to be over. I don't think that they are ever going to mend that relationship. So that's pretty much over. What about the half-brother, Thomas? Uh, so let's find out what... What's going on with the relationship between Megan and her half-brother, Thomas? Um, here's Megan with the Queen of Wands. Here's Thomas. Oh, this goes back quite a ways, too. This goes back. Wow, both of these, we got um, the pages on both of those. Oh, wow. This is, so this is probably the mother of Thomas, Thomas's mother, I don't know who she is, I didn't do the research on it, but she's also having an influence of what, of what the situation is. So it looks like their relationship could have been good, but somebody feels like he turned his back on her, or, she, or he feels like she turned his back, her back on him, because that's just, you know, some, the relationship taking a turn. So, um, is this relationship ever going to be, um, mended or healed or, you know, are they going to get, no, 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 nope, it's rocky. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of gone to a stage where I'm not saying in the beginning and that, you know, it couldn't get healed, but for right now, um, it's not looking like it will. So I'm going to ask if Megan Marco will at any point um, be happy with her life? Is at any point, is Meghan Markle going to be happy with her life? Two cards threw, flew out. Oh, look at that. The queen and the king. We're sure getting uh, the people here. Wow, this king has red hair like Harry. Look at this, red hair. I think that her happiness is depending on dependent on whether or not she can make this relationship work or even if she wants to see how she's facing away from him right now. She's she's just not really nurturing this relationship at right now. So I think that she's just really wanting to be somewhat just really left alone. She wants to make it on her own. I don't know that does Megan really know how to make to have true love? Is Megan really know how to have true love? You know, a lot of us don't, you know, know how to, and she certainly doesn't. She doesn't know what what true love really feels like or really is like. W um, will she find out? Will she ever? Whoops, that one just fell out. So we'll just go with it. Will she? Yes. Okay. So this means that once she figures out what love is, her true desires, then she will experience it. But until then, she doesn't really know what uh, love is, what true love is. Okay, that was my questions on Meghan Markle, and I am super happy that you joined my channel. Leave your thoughts. What do you think about Meghan Markle? And of course, you know, I don't judge. I'm just reading the cards the way they are, and that's what I'll always do, just kind of stay in a neutral position and read what the cards tell me, my interpretation. Thank you for stopping by.